Good morning, you guys. Um, I'm going to be reading out a book of Hebrew. I'm going to be reading Hebrews 1 through 5, so bear with me. Okay. Hebrews chapter 1. God's supreme revelation. <clears throat> God who at various God who at various times and in various ways spoke in times past to the Father to the fathers by the prophets has in these last days spoken to us by his son whom he has appointed heir he heir after all things through whom also he made the world who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had himself purged our sins sat down at the right hand right hand of the majesty on high having become so much better than the angels as he has by inheritance of as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they the son exalted above angels verse 5 for for to which of the angels did he ever say you are my son today i have begotten you and again i will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son but when he again brings the firstborn into the world he says let all the angels of god worship him and the angels he says who makes his angel spirit and his ministry and his ministers a flame of fire but to the son he says your throne o god is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom you have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness therefore therefore god your god has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions and you lord in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the work are the work of your hand they will perish but you will remain and they will all grow old like gar garments like a cloak you will fold them up and they will be changed but you are the same and your and your years will not fail but to which of the but to which of the angels he has ever said sit at my right hand till i make your enemies your footstool are they not all ministers are they not all ministering, ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? This is chapter 2. Therefore, we must give the more earnest heed to the things that we have to the things we have heard, lest we drift away. For if the words spoken through angels provided proved steadfast and every transgression and disobedience received as just reward. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation for which at, for which at the first begin which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and he was conform, confirmed to us by those who heard him God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will for he has not put the world to come of which he speaks in subjection to angels but one testified in a certain place saying what is man that you are mindful to him are mindful of him or the son of man that you take care of him you have made him a little lower than the angels you have crowned him with glory and honor and set him over the works of your hands you have put all things in subjection under his feet for in that he put all the subjection under him he left nothing that is he left nothing that is not put under him but now we do not yet see all things put under him but we see jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of god might taste death for everyone for it was fitting for him for whom all the things and by whom all things and bringing many sons to glory to make the cap to make the caption of their salvation perfect through suffering for both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all 
are all of one, for which reason he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare your name to my brethren in the midst of your assembly. I will sing you praise. I will sing praise to you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And, and again, here I am, the children of whom, has, whom God has given me. Inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared the same, that through death he, through death he might destroy him who had the power of death, that is, the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all, their li were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For indeed, he does not give aid to angels, but does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore, in all things, he had to be made like his brethren, and he had and he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the things pertaining to God to make proper prep preparation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. Therefore, holy brethren, partake, partake of the heavenly calling, considering the apostle and high priest of our confessions, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him, who appointed him, as Moses also was faithful in all his house. For this one has been counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he, as he who built the house has more honor than the house. For every house is built by someone, but he who built all things is God. And Moses indeed was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which could which would have been spoken afterwards. But Christ the Son, who over his own house, whose house we are, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of hope firm, rejoicing of the hope firm to the end. Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart, as in the rebellion, in the day of the trial in the wilderness, where your father tested me and tried me, tested me, tried me, and saw my works forty years. Therefore, I was angry with that generation, and said, They always go astray in their heart, and they have not known my ways, so I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Beware, brethren, lead least there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another daily. But exhort one another daily. While it is called today, least any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we have become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfasting to the end. While it is said, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as the rebellion. And this is, this is uh, chapter 3, verse 16. For who have heard rebel? Indeed, was it not all who came out of Egypt, led by Moses, now with whom he was angry forty years? Was it not with those who sinned, whose corpses fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear? that they would not enter his rest, but those who did not obey. So we see that, the, so we see that they could not enter because of belief. The promise and rest chapter, this is chapter four out of Hebrew. Therefore, since a promise remains of entering his rest, let us fear at least any of you seem to have come short of it. For indeed the gospel was preached to us as well as to them. But the word which they heard did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. For we, for we who have believed, do not, for we who have believed, do enter that rest, as he said. So I swore my wrath; they shall not enter my rest. Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, for he has spoken in a certain place of the seventh day in his way. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. 
and again in the place they shall not enter my rest since therefore it remains that some must enter it and those whom it was first preached do not enter because of disobedience again he is doesn't again he designates a certain day saying in david today after such a long time as it has been said today if you will hear his voice do not harden your heart for if joshua had given them rest then he would not afterwards have spoken of another of another day <clears throat> therefore remain therefore remain therefore a rest of the people of god for he who has entered his rest has himself also ceased from his works as God did from him, did from his. Let us therefore be diligent and diligent to enter that rest. Let least anyone fail according to the same example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and the joint and marrow, and is discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. And then this is Hebrew 4, verses 14. It says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our of our confessions. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all of, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And then this is Hebrew five. For every high priest taken from among men is appointed for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sin. He can have compassion on those who are ignorant and going astray, since he himself is, is also subject to weakness. Because of this, he, he is required as for the people, so also for himself to offer sacrifices for sin. And no man takes this honor to himself, but he who is called by God, just as Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself to become high priest. It was, it was he who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. As he also says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of... of Melchizedek, Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplication with, with vehement cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death and was heard because of his, because of his godly fear. Though he was, though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffers. Though he was the son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. And having been perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Called by God as high priest according to the other, according to the order of Melchizedek, of whom he, of whom we have much to say, and hard to explain, since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracle, the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is, uns is unskilled in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason those who by reasons of, uh, let me read 14 again. But solid food belongs to those who are full of age. That is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised. 
but to discern both good and evil. That is Hebrew 1 through 5. Um, I'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.